Good morning, everybody. Sad day here at the homestead. This morning, around 6.47, something was able to pry the fence latches right here open and killed one of my uh, chickens. The latches go like this right here and they drop down through there and through there and something got both of them open and killed one of them. So I'm gonna do some adjustments to this door and I'm gonna um, end up putting some stakes around the bottom of the predator proof fencing. But I'm still trying to figure out what was able to get the latch open and this one here was still in the piece but the fence was opened up so I'm gonna put some carabiners or something on it but just decided to share that with y'all it's something that happens when you have chickens and livestock you know there's predators out there so you gotta try to do what you can to you know prevent stuff like this all right so I'm gonna use this as a learning experience, experience, you know, not get complacent in. Know that yet these are animals and they have predators. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the store in a second, but I'm gonna use these little stakes here and just start staking around the bottom of the fence. Then I'm gonna use these spikes right now. See if I can drop them in there to hold this fence closed until I get these carabiners, cause. To me, it looked like something pulled it open. Cause like I said, the latch was still in, but this was pulled out and I see this is bent back. So to me, it looked like something forced it open. So I'm not sure what it what it was, but I will set my, um, I have a, um, a trap and it's not to um, kill nothing. It's a, um, a catch and release trap. So I will set that right beside the coop tonight and bait it just to see if I catch something. But, um, yep, use it as a learning experience. Okay, y'all, so what I did was took the stake, stuck it through the front and the fence part that's behind it. This one goes through the top and the bottom, which has it locked real secure. So nothing should be able to pull that open because it's going between both latches on the front and the back and the fence part is behind it. And I put some of the stakes right here into the ground, holding the front. Run to the store and get some carabiners. I put a couple of stakes around the bottom of the predator proof fence. And, and now I'm about to uh, put my trap out here to try to catch whatever it was. And this is not a trap that's gonna kill whatever it was because I know they're animals and they gotta eat too. Um, so, just got a uh, trap I'm going to put out to try to catch whatever it was and take it off somewhere else and let it go. So, yep, use it as a learning experience and learn something from it and just not get complacent and know that there are predators out there trying to kill my chickens. All right, so this is my small trap and... I'm about to go pick up a bigger one because I have an idea what it was that got in there. But how, how I use this trap is usually it opens from both sides and then the, um, something steps on the plate down there and then it'll sit down. And then this part here will come over, latch, and lock them in. So it'll be like that right there and then it'll lock them in. I keep a pencil on this side, keep it locked out so nothing can push its, push its way out. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one set and bait it. Go pick up some carabiners and a larger trap and put out here. All right, y'all, so I'm on the way to the store to go buy this um, bigger trap. And I know my um, wife made a good point my dogs are the size of my chickens. So until I definitely find out what it was, 
I got to keep an eye on my dogs. I know those have been following me, seeing my dogs on the um, previous videos, but I have two chihuahuas, and they're about the same size as my um, chickens, so just got to stay alert. Well, I'm at my favorite store. Usually, I'll be looking at these fruit trees they got over there and this garden stuff, but I am on a mission, on a mission. All right, y'all, so this is the small trap that I got. This is the big one, $60, but I don't care. I'm gonna pay $60. And we're gonna buy this trap and put it together. Okay, so I have this trap set. I have it set on very sensitive. I'll put the bait on the backside. When something steps on the plate, it will release the trap door, locking it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set out back here next to my other traps and all and do what I need to do to try to keep my chicken safe. All right, so I got the trap set and we'll see what comes of it. But I'll keep y'all posted.